Dear students, in this video lecture, we will discuss about requirements elicitation, problems of requirement elicitation, elicitation techniques, and we will discuss about requirement elicitation process. What is the requirements elicitation? Requirement elicitation is also known as requirements capture or requirements acquisition. It is a process of collecting information about software requirements from the various persons such as users and stakeholders. Stakeholders are the persons which are related to any project. Requirement elicitation is a communication process involving different communities. Most of the elicitation take place through the meetings and interviews supported by telephonic conversations and email and through video conferencing. Elicitation take place at the start of any project. And we will discuss about the problems requirement problems of requirement elicitation. Various issues or problems may arise at the time of requirements elicitation. First is the problem of scope. When, ba when boundary of the software is not defined properly and it is because of this it becomes difficult to identify the objectives as well as the functions and features of the software. Problem of understanding. When the users are not sure about the requirements, then this problem arises when the user have no knowledge, no knowledge or little knowledge about the problem domain. Problem of volatility. When the requirements of the client or customer change with the time. Then we will discuss about different elicitation, elicitation techniques. Different elicitation techniques are used to identify the problem and to determine this solution. And elicitation techniques include interviews, scenarios, prototypes, and quality function deployment. Interviews. These are the conducted with the users and other stakeholders. Interviews are conducted with certain set of rules and questions. An effective interview should contain the person's involved in the interviews should be able to accept the new ideas and they should be focused in listening the views of the stakeholders and users. Interviews should be conducted in, a, in the defined con context of requirements in spite of the general terms. Scenarios. Scenarios are the sequence of events which help in, in identification of the possible future outcomes. These are used to test that whether the software will fulfill the user requirements or not. Generally, the scenario should contain the following description of what the user expects when scenario starts and it should also contain the description of handling the situation when the software is not functioning properly and description of state when the scenario ends. Third techniques is prototypes. These help to identify or clarify the unclear requirements. These help users to understand the information they need to give to the de development team. Next is quality function deployment. This translates user requirements into technical requirements for the software. It includes general requirements, these are the requirements that describe the system objectives. For example, graphical displays requested by the user uh, or some specific functions requested by the user. Second is uh, expected requirements. These are the implicit requirements to the software. For example, ease of software installation or ease of interaction in the software. Third is unexpected requirements. These are the requirements beyond expectation. For example, the word processing software with some additional capabilities like page layout, etc. Then requ requirement elicitation process. Requirement elicitation process involves establishment of the overall organi organizational objectives, gathering and understanding of background information of the system knowledge organization and collection of the requirements. Requirement elicitation process gives a significant view about 
why the system is essential and what are the goals and who are the end users and who will apply to the system. The effective deployment of the system relies on the understanding of background such as identification of existing system. Dear students, if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel, then there is a link for the playlist of all previous videos.